Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. In today's video we're gonna update our Galaxy S7 to Android 7.0, no good. Samsung started beta testing in UK and Korea so we're gonna install the same firmware on our Indian phone. My phone is an Indian variant, its model number is SMG950FD, it's a dual sim variant. It's pretty simple to install this guys, you just need to download the firmware, I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. So before updating your phone to Android and guys you need to make sure few things. Just go to settings and go to lock screen settings. Over there, you see this secure boot up, right? Secure startup. You need to enable this. You need to set a pin so that when you'll format your phone and install Android N, it'll ask you a pin. So make sure you enable this thing. Now we are all set to go guys and make a backup of all your data because this update is going to wipe out all the data. So make sure you backup all your photos, music, call logs, messages, everything. So these were the things that you need to keep in mind. Now we are all set to flash Android N on our phone. Just power off your phone. We need to boot the phone in download mode. It's pretty simple to do guys. Just press the volume down, home button and power button all together and switch on the phone. Then your phone will boot into download mode. I'll just show you how to do that now. Before setting your phone in download mode, I'll just show you the softwares that you need. This is Android and firmware. It has four files. You can see them. This software is called Odin guys. You need this to flash the Android and firmware to your phone. So this is how Odin looks like. You just need to select the Android and software over here and connect your phone and hit the start button. Pretty simple right? Now let's boot our S7 in download mode. It's pretty simple to do guys. Just click the volume down button, home button and power button all together and switch on your phone. There you go. You get a warning like this. Just hit the volume up button and continue. So now we are in download mode. Now you need to connect this phone to your PC. Let me just connect my USB YO here. So when you connect your phone you should see a blue box over there and you should see an added comment like this. Now let me select the softwares. Now let's load the software. Click on this BL button and go to the location where you have saved the software. Now select the BL file in this BL button slot. Just like this. And wait for a second. Now click on AP and select the AP file. Then after that, click on the CP and select the CP file. And finally the CSC, just like this. Now we have successfully loaded the software guys. Now we need to check out the options once. Just click on this options tab over here and make sure that auto reboot and F reset are ticked and don't change anything else. So once you have verified all of these things, we are all set to go. You just need to click the start button. After clicking the start button, this process will take around 5 minutes, not more than that. You just need to relax and wait for your phone to boot up. And that's it, your phone will be ready with Android no good. So to make sure that your phone got successfully updated, you'll get a message over here which says pass. It means that your phone has successfully updated with the new firmware. Now your phone will reboot and it will erase all the data present on it. You can remove the USB cable once the phone reboots. So the update to Android N was successfully done. The process was pretty simple right? Just follow my instructions step by step and you'll do it in no time. There you go, you're greeted with this new welcome screen. I'll just set up my phone and show you all the new features of Android N. So just wait a second guys. So I've set up my phone guys, we're running Android Nougat on my Galaxy S7 and this is the new AOD. Let's check out the lock screen. It's the same but it's got a new effect that was pretty smooth. You got a new UI, it's called the Grace UI. The icons are updated. I really like the new font on it and this is the new notification it's the android n's notification panel it looks pretty good the overall ui movement feels buttery smooth you've also got some new features and new toggles in this notification mode this is the new performance mode let's just check it out you can adjust the maximum brightness and the screen resolution okay let's apply the setting and see Okay, performance mode was applied. In this mode, your phone operates in full 100% performance. 
So you may expect a little less battery life in this mode. Let's just disable it for now. Okay, let's see what else you've got over here. This is a blue light filter guys. So as you can see when I click on it, the temperature of the display changes to a warmer side. This is a bit more comfortable and relaxing to the eyes during night time. It is just like Apple's night shift mode on iPhone. Even the animations are really good. I'm really liking this new notification panel. This new TouchWiz launcher is pretty smooth compared to the old one. And this is a new phone dialer. Even this is completely redesigned. And this is a new messaging app. Let's check out the browser. Okay, the browser also looks really nice. It's got a complete new layout. These are its settings, they're the same. I think I'm really starting to like this new UI. It's pretty smooth. Super smooth, I can say. That's a huge improvement made by Samsung from Marshmallow, and I'm really liking this. All the apps have got a new facelift, new design. That's really nice, and this is how S Voice looks like in the new update. It's got a whole new interface. Let's check out the camera. Even the camera app has been updated. So as you can see, it's got swipe gestures. When you swipe it from right to left, you get filters and effects. When you swipe it from left to right, you get different modes of the camera. And when you do like this, you can shift to the front facing camera. These were some super cool features in the new camera app. The camera app is also pretty snappy. And this is a new gallery. There's a new calculator app. Now let's see what has changed in the settings app. So these are the brand new Android and settings. Let's check out them. Let's see what's new in these settings. So nothing new in connections. Let's check out the sound and vibration settings. Okay, almost similar to Android Marshmallow. Okay, let's go back and check out notifications. Nothing much over here. Display. You've got a new blue light filter option over here. You can turn it on directly or you can turn on a schedule for it. These are the fonts. There's a new settings in this now. You can adjust the display resolution from HD to Quad HD. That's really nice. I think it's a really good implementation. You can also select icons with frames or without frames. This AOD is brand new. It's from the Galaxy Note 7. It can even display notifications from third-party apps. This AOD has a huge improvement compared to the previous one. So these were the display settings. So there's a new Samsung themes guys. Previously you could only change the themes, but in the new updated themes you can even change the icons of the, all the apps. That's a really nice thing. Currently there are no themes because it's a beta testing version. When the final one will be out, you can get all the themes and icons. Now let's check out the advanced features. So there's no change in these features. Okay. Oh, you got a video enhancer over here. It says it enhances the image and sound quality. So this is a new device maintenance mode guys. When you click the optimize now button, it clears the RAM, removes unnecessary cache files and checks your device security. And I have to say guys, it's a lot faster compared to Smart Manager. The overall performance of this phone in Android Nougat is really good. You can see the phone is snappy, the performance is top notch. Now the software update is over here and not in the about phone. You can see the model number of my phone is G930FD D for dual sim. The Android version is 7.0. Let's check out the easter egg. It's actually a kitty collector. You can see different cat emojis at the bottom of the screen when you repeatedly tap on the N logo. So that was Android N's easter egg. Let's go back. These were the new visible changes that Samsung made in Android Nougat for the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. The software is still in beta stage. Beta stage is expected to run till mid-December, after which the final build will be released to the general public. Even though it's in beta stage, it is really smooth and optimized. There are no lags or crashes till now. Samsung has done a great job with this update. Eventually they'll release OTA updates to fix the bugs if any. And you guys can go ahead and install it on your phone. You'll really love this new update. So that was it guys, Android 7.0 for the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. Thanks for watching this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos.